Welcome back to the channel, and this is a short one. Uh, I've just picked this little thing up for relatively cheap money. Uh, it's a Sony uh, CD Walkman D-NF340. Uh, it's got a CD player, it's a radio, uh, and also uh, plays MP3s on compact disc. Um, it came from a flea market. I'd seen it a few times. It had been sitting there for quite some time, probably about three or four months nobody really picked it up um, it does work um, it, I, it's, if I turn the radio on and I've got the radio plug, this plugged into my speakers turn that down um, so yeah so the actual radio works it's uh, it goes on and off you can switch it back on again that's fine got a little display on top let's just try and make sure I don't a reflection. Um, so we've got display button, P mode. Let's see whether I can improve that note. That's as far as it's going to focus. Um, P mode, sound, volume, radio controls, and CD controls. Um, so headphone socket, which I'm currently plugged in here. Uh, that's the. That's to open it. You can put 4.5 volts in there, rather than the batteries. Uh, so if I open it up, as you can see, it's pretty standard of its time. Uh, you've got a battery compartment just there, CD lens, uh, spindle motor. That's pretty much it. There's not much on that side either. Um, have I turned it off? I've done something. Um, also got a hold button. So do that. That's the. Thing. This camera isn't really focusing very well, so let's just see whether I can let's see whether I can improve that. No, it's not really going to focus very well. So, yeah, it's of its time, probably what early two thousand, something like that. I'll have to go and check. Um, yeah, it's. These are quite rare things these days. Uh, most have been thrown out because nobody really wants to work with CDs. Uh, so if I just put a compact disc in, doing this all single-handed. Hopefully this won't content match too much. Can I press play? And there we go. CD Walkman. take forever and there we go oh the boring music well it's not boring it's Schubert but for this video it is um, seems to do absolutely everything That's a little bit better, so you can now see it properly. Seems to be playing absolutely fine. However, um, this has got uh, a problem where batteries have actually leaked inside it, um, and all of the uh, battery contacts are all corroded. So I'm going to just take it apart and have a look. And this is one of the hottest days in the UK. Uh, the temperature in, in the lab here is at a stonking. Oh, let's have a look. Oh my, 35.7 degrees. Uh, uh, and there we are. And people on who wish to stick to ancient old things, it's something like, was it 95? Personally, I like to be in the modern age, and it's now, yeah, it's getting to 35 degrees. Celsius, so yeah, there we go. It's pretty hot. Max and Safi are very wet uh, because I've actually soaked them with the hose just to give them a bit of uh, relief because they're struggling. I don't know how Max is staying out there, but hey ho, he's probably trying to dry himself off. So let's let's crack this open.
So taking it apart, uh, we've got some corrosion on uh, inside the unit itself uh, from the leaky batteries. Uh, in terms of damage to the circuit board, it doesn't seem to be too bad. It's mainly the power side of things. Uh, I did notice the, um, the headphone socket was quite crackly, so I might put some contact cleaner in there. Um, yeah, I, what I'm probably going to do is just dip this in a little bit of um, acid. Yeah. Let's try not to touch the lens. Um, got a little bit of corrosion around here. So if I actually nip that in the bud with the, um, the vinegar, and we'll just let, let that fizz up, and I'll get, put a little bit of grease on the, uh, the screw here for the mechanism. Um, yeah, it all looks fine. Um, I'll give the lens a clean. Um, the yeah, oh, there, there it is. I'll take these out, and these can go into uh, vinegar as well. Yeah, just a it's a really simple clean up, really. To be honest with you, and caught it in just in time, I think. Right, I'll go and wash that. Seems to be fizzing up quite nicely. Uh, I think there was more acid on there than I realised because it's fizzing up all over that board. As you can see, it's a. Uh, you might have a few leaky caps in this thing. Wouldn't surprise me. That should do. I'll leave the other bits in there. Flush the. Uh, let's do that. I want to flush the whole thing with isopropyl not alcohol. Uh, just to do it. I, I do, would like to get that part there uh, done further, I think. That in there like that just leave it like that there we go I've, st I've still got to clean out this part so I might take this in now trouble is I've got all of this stuff here the actual display on there so I've got to be careful um, I might just give it a little bit of a yeah give it a little bit of wash So that's now clean, reasonably clean, and free of uh, acid. Um, this is just stopped fizzing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see if there's any more acid further up. I don't think there is. So I've cleaned the base. Uh, the circuit board has had a treatment uh, of uh, vinegar and then isopropanol afterwards. Um, I've cleaned up all the connections on the metal and I've also cleaned out the uh, battery tray here or uh, the opening uh, without actually getting water on the on the, the panel here. Let's put this back together again.
Seems to work. Everything's fine. No problem at all. So this, I think, this is all fixed. It's uh, all the acid's gone from it now. Um, yeah, nice and dry. Um, put it in my collection. I actually, might start using this. I've got a number of. Uh, um, well, I've got a hell of a lot of CDs actually, probably about, about close to a thousand of them sitting in the uh, loft. I've collected over all over the years. Um, that's great. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, do whatever you want to do. Uh, if you don't like the video, don't like the video. There's other videos out there, other other content. Uh, if you like the stuff, uh, like what I'm doing, uh, feel free to uh, comment or subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.